course, you know, anyone is a threat with those conditions, but especially Esam, who's proved it plenty of times. It just has been a bit of a quiet period for him. But enough mm -hmm. about that. Let's see if Leo even makes it to him. Looks like he's going to be taking on Nomal. Is, oh, Gandhi. Okay. His, oh, no, Maya is his in game tag. But okay. my boy Gandhi, he's back. Yeah, what I'm interested in the most. Oh. Like the, I said, the anyone gods will fall. Anyone could do it. <laughs> I could beat Leo if he's throwing away stocks like that. But the crazy thing here too is like that we're seeing the Aegis come out. And I feel like that's something that we saw put away at least three to four separate times now, but here we are once again. Yeah, I feel like Leo's character pool, it's very matchup dependent. We used to see him just rock the solo Byleth for a good year plus. Mm -hmm. And then started dabbling in the Aegis, especially around Smash World Tour 2021. Yeah. And like you said, it's been picked up and put down several times. But I do like Pyra and Mithra against Young Link. You get, just have so much speed to overwhelm the zoner. And then Pyra's down air does horrible things to this character offstage. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pyra is, is a character. That is for sure, man. <laughs> Definitely one of the characters of all time. Dude, I don't know what they were thinking, putting a whole semi-truck on a sword for a character there. But that's what they did. And that's what they decided was OK. <laughs> We'll see if Leo's able to make this comeback happen. I mean, so far, he's already pushed <laughs> it back into his favor, so not much of a question there. But hold up! Gandhi looking clean with the combo game, and he's actually even it right back up as well. MK Leo making a comeback in a winner's round two of right. not a summit-type right. event. <laughs> hey, man. Call him how I see him. He was down, now he's up. That's a comeback. Yeah, for sure. And Pyra actually, wow, not actually going to be able to close out that stock. We do have the bomb in hand. Ah. Not going to be able to pop off fast enough. Unfortunate situation for Gandhi, but you know what? It's just what happens sometimes. It does. I mean, sometimes you have the best player in the world as your winner's round two. <laughs> I don't think I've even rolled that low in Mario Party before. Yeah. But That's like a negative one. <laughs> <laughs> this is some nightmare fuel when you check start GG and you see this. Yeah. I mean, hey, at least uh, one player here on the screen is 1-0 right now. The other one has nothing going on for him. So. True. Gandhi has all of the momentum behind him, and that is gone. Not quite yet, but in one more hit, it should definitely be all gone. Look, I'm main this character. I would have been upset if that killed me. <laughs> 94% after the hit. Are you kidding me? The fact that that even kill screen yeah. is a little bit scurry. All right, there we go. Great parry. And the forward air, not quite going to be enough here. The blazing Ed. Still not going to get him, all right. Oh, down tilt into absolutely nada. MK Leo holding out on that. You're not going to catch this guy with some day one confirms. I like the bomb combo into yourself, but we do get the up smash. Closing that one out in usual fashion. But yeah, I feel like a little bit sloppy here from Leo. I don't know if he's just kind of like, you know, he's like, all right, you know, it's the same thing I do in every bracket. I got to gotta beat all these other people before I get right, to the right. end. But I don't know, man. I feel like you... Uh, it's probably about time to start to waken up here. Like, I don't keep think in mind, be, yeah. technically that could have been a three stock, right? In a, a different world where he didn't SD at the beginning of the game. Yeah, so. that is true. Absolutely true. But like, let's be fair here. Okay, Gandhi also SD'd at the very beginning of the game. See, also a very charitable yeah, yeah. player. <laughs> <laughs> Beast philanthropy. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so Leo going up game one, of course, no surprise in that but what was surprising was seeing the Aegis and furthermore seeing the Aegis SD in the first five seconds of the match so yeah that was definitely a little bit awkward I mean I know this character's recovery is kind of ass sometimes but that was just straight up weird yeah I mean he literally just ran off and did it yeah. so it just probably looking to warm the character up and also warm his hands up right I mean it's 7 p.m. this is probably his or it's definitely his first tournament game of the day so you mm -hmm. see Leo probably just trying to get into his element. Now Gandhi, on the other hand, switching over to the Joker. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, picking one of MK Leo's mains against him seems scary. He knows this character better than you do, I promise. Yeah, no, for sure. But I think it's just the fact that Joker can handle a lot of the stuff that, like, Aegis has going on here, mm -hmm. uh, as well as being able to battle Pyra, especially when you get Arsene out here. You know, these guys are just trading strong hits. And we're like, Young Link can handle some pressure by using his projectiles. Just being able to not answer the how fast Aegis can be could be a bit of an issue. Yeah, I mean, Joker's so scrappy, right? Yeah. Great frame data up close, great movement to get around, and also great off stage. So three things that Pirate and Mithra don't exactly appreciate fighting, but in the hands of MKLeo, it's still looking quite favorable for him. For we'll sure. See. Oh, wow. What are you trying to shield drop, bro? <laughs> I've never seen a man spot dodge on the platform so many times. Not, not in this game, man. We could have had it. We just wrote a few more words that <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man, <laughs> you, you I'll, I'll you drop the emails one day. You didn't try hard enough, Max. You didn't try oh, I tried hard. so you hard. I tried so hard, man. <laughs> hey, 
you know, if you unlock all the spirits, you can shield drop. Absolutely. But hey. Oh, down tilt, the two frame two, perfectly timed. Oh, I was going to say, if he does it again, this guy is actually just insane. There we go. Oof. There comes that down air, man. One of the most egregious moves in this game, but Leo looking in top-notch form all of a sudden. I mean, yeah, I guess he really just needed the game to really get warmed up here. But 56% is all he's taken so far in this game. And who knows, maybe this guy ended up pick picking the Joker. Like, it's a, it's a secondary. That's, that's so messed up. It really is. On gun? On Arsene gun? Are yeah. you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> uh, one of my favorite edge guards in the game, the Charge Flame Nova, but it's not going to pay off for Leo there. Let's yeah. it rip a little too early. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm so upset about the foresight on the Arsene gun. But either way, Leo trying to find a way to close this one out. Okay, goes for the missed grab. And all that pressure on the shield, too. Gandhi was just kind of stuck there. He had to sit and just wait. Oh, my God. The parry into turnaround down till Leo is just so clean. You're never catching this guy off guard. You thought you were going to cross him up and maybe get a freebie? No, absolutely not. And we are looking at a potential three stock in the making here. Unless Gandhi can turn it up in this crucial moment. A lot of empty lands, a lot of faints, but... Okay, that back air with Arsene's help as well. Oh my god, you can't even get her right there because she's just going to drift under PS2. Use the top of the stage as a shield. Yeah, that was kind of messed up. I mean, granted, he already kind of committed to something, so MKLeo was just able to, you know, adapt to that point. I mean, Gandhi probably could have got off stage a little bit sooner and tried to, you know, a little bit something else. Like, he probably could have thrown out the back air. Probably could have done the circle guns. That probably could have clipped him, but either way. Yeah, making it back there we go. is... Pretty important as a Pyro and Mithra player, and MKLeo, I mean, his recovery is just top-notch. If you're a top player, you got to be mixing oh, yeah. everything up all the time. Everything everywhere all at once. Yeah, no, just any character. If, if you are a good player and you play a character with a, a recovery, you have to find ways to mix it up as best as possible. Leo definitely doing a solid job out here, but Gandhi trying to get at least one more on the board. Sitting at 193, now 202. I mean, you pretty much just got to sneeze on him at this point. You got max rage, though. <laughs> you got to be careful. I think Leo's playing with his food, too. I mean, even oh, yeah. even on the uh, his first stock, we saw him just spot dodging and rolling a whole bunch for like 10, 15 seconds. Not sure what the vision is. Not sure what he wants to kill with, but Mithra down till up air at 220%. That's one way to finish it. He attempted that for the last 30 seconds of that game, throwing out those down tilts. That's all he wanted. That's all he could see. That's all he could taste. It's all he wanted in the end of things here. But either way, we're at 2-0 now, MK Leo. Again, not an unexpected result, but Gandhi, I feel like, started to figure it out. Like, the beginning of this set, or this game, definitely not good with the Joker, but I feel like he started to get into his rhythm after a bit, so started to feel a little bit better. Yeah, he got absolutely run over the first two stocks. Oh, yeah. Then he started to find his footing a little bit. Again, MK Leo, not sure what the vision was on some of the interactions, right? Like, I think he really did just want to specifically kill with down tilt up there, <laughs> and he was not willing to give that up. Mm -hmm. But now, either way, game we three. switch up the skins. Woo! I love that. The upbeat edge guard from Mithra, too, man. Leo showing some creativity. Yeah, and there we go. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Gandhi sticking with Joker as well, because uh, you can see that he starts to feel comfortable, you know, towards that last stock. You know, at this point, okay, you gathered the data, you started to get your hands warmed up for the character you're playing, and now he's looking pretty decent here. Now only behind by a few percentage until Mithra started doing her things, and now you got Pyra to deal with. This could be trouble. Still a promising start, though. Keeping yes. up with Leo, always a good sign. Wow, aggressively landing with down air, though. Gandhi, you going to block all this? Yes, the parry, but no. Not fast enough to punish. Down air up smash could have been huge for him. And now we see Leo remaining in the driver's seat. Just one good Pyra aerial away from taking this stock. Oh, I like that. Catching him to jump off the ledge. What's the option here? Ah, dude. She's so fast, man. Landed immediately right to that down tilt. How fast is that down tilt? Uh, Mithras, I believe it's frame five. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> it's so good, man. This character has some of the best normals ever printed. Yes. So when you see them struggling off stage, just know it's for a good reason. It's crazy because uh, everybody's talking about at one point in time, oh, yeah, this is the best character in the game. And that's not even really the case anymore. It's a lot of people believe, you know, obviously Steve. But then, like, even other characters, like, uh, was it Sonic's up there now yep. and a, a few others? But, like, she's still very, very good, obviously. Don't get me wrong. But the fact that she has all this and she's not really considered the de facto best is terrifying. Both of these characters have had their time at number one on a lot of people's tier lists. Mm -hmm. Obviously not very far off from that now, but things have shifted a little bit. Oh, Leo almost getting a pretty juicy combo right there, just misses the up B. It's one of her most damaging combo finishers, by the way. Right. So, I, it always threw me off when people would voluntarily end combos with that until I saw how much it did. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what, 40 to 50 or something like that? It's actually uh, kind of gross. Route, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think the up B itself is like 17 or 18. 
Maybe I'm tripping though. It might be a little less. Point is, uh, yeah, it's it's a great combo, and Leo's gonna make full use of that unless he misses it. Mm -hmm. Now we're just trying to find that punishment. Getting back down to the stage. Honestly, doing the down downward angle gun is a good way to just kind of keep people off you. But Gandhi's still kind of struggling to get this first knock out of here. Potential to lose his first. Mithra back out on the field, trying again, put that pressure down. Maybe force Gandhi to the ledge so he can get that edge guard he wants, but... Oh, wait. I feel like Leo has a one-track mind. He just wants to land down tilt confirms. I feel like he's almost trying to practice it in the middle of a tournament set. <laughs> yeah. And you only know you have that luxury when you're literally the greatest of all time. I know. It's it's so insane. It's like that one time we saw, I think it was a Big House, where Mewtwo King came back to Melee for the first time in forever, and it was struggling, and he spent a whole game relearning all the Fox tech <laughs> <Like> mid-game. <laughs> it was so ridiculously stupid. Hey man, for some players, pools are your chance to make a breakout performance happen. Mm -hmm. And for others, it's training mode part two. <laughs> training mode with a bot that can think. Right. <laughs> Sometimes. What kind of mod is that? <laughs> the AI, the chat GPT training mode mod coming soon. <laughs> Dude, that sounds awful. God. It starts talking trash when you mess up combos. <laughs> Not even that, it's everybody inputting their opinion on the best way to handle something, and the bot just becomes the worst O tour of all time. <laughs> Automatically generated Johns. <laughs> Actually, that sounds like a good, a my, good bit. We my eyes that. were in the sun. <laughs> Indoors. <laughs> all right, there it is. MK Leo taking it 3 0 over Gandhi. Honestly, a pretty respectable showing. Like, he would beat me just about that hard anyway. So, and I've been doing this for 20 years. So. Right. I would not feel too bad if I were him. I would just say, you know what? There's a loser's bracket for a reason. Sometimes you're just a newer player. You don't have that name recognition. You get seated low, yep. but you can still go on a run. Absolutely. I mean, God didn't even play too bad in this in a few spots here. Like, honestly, if this was like any other player half the time, maybe he gets a stock, maybe he gets a game. You know, I mean, definitely got a stock, but maybe he gets a game or two, right? But, I mean, again, like we've mentioned so many times before, I know we're harping on it, but this is literally the best player in the game. And when you're able to play still pretty solid against them, I mean, you can't even feel that bad about it. That right. was just, like, per beautiful movement, too. Like, Leo is just all over that platform, getting down to the main platform as well. I mean, a lot of us are going to fall for that. It's just the bait, the punish. Mwah. The guy is simply too good. And the fact that he's, <laughs> from the last season of Smash 4, all the way through every single season of Ultimate, remained at number one, mm -hmm. truly something to marvel at. I think it's, like, a, an accomplishment that very few, if any, competitors in any game or sport could lay claim to. So uh, MKLeo obviously going to move on through the winner's bracket. Gandhi we'll see on the other side. And we got some more great matches coming up for you. It looks like next up is going to be uh, Riddles. Indeterminate so far. Oh, wait. Are you, oh, well, you see him. I'm like looking for words. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, wait. Is it Riddles Peko? Oh, there oh, we go. Uh, oh, okay. Oh! Versus Mish. Mish, is this... um? 